Hello everyone. In this video, we will be installing a three-way switch for hallway lighting. We will proceed to remove the Romex insulation of our wires by using a hook knife. The same way for the three-way wire, or the three-wire, as we like to call it. Just go slow and you can score it. That's good. Now we will use our side cutters to nick the Romex at the back. And we just pull it, we'll come undone. Same with this, through the three wire. We'll nick the Romex at the back and just pull it. Now we will ground our box with the ground wire as we usually do with the screws in the back of the box loose enough to wrap our wire clockwise. and then we tie them. Next, we will trim those ground wires. And we will connect our neutral wires together. This 14-2 wire um, has the switch leg for the lights. So in this case, it will go in the common wire of our three-way switch. I will show you guys in a few minutes after tying both neutral wires together with a wire nut or more commonly known a marette. So as usual I like to do my spring so I can safely push the wires towards the, towards the back of the box and now have them all over the place creating rat's nest or more difficulties when working on the box for maintenance purposes or replacing products um, so right now if you've never seen a three-way switch uh, please allow me to show you how it works uh, three-way switch unlike a single pole switch has three connection screws plus a ground screw so the copper looking wire uh, sorry the copper looking screw it will be your common this will be your um, power and this will be your traveler so the communication wire between the switches. Um, because the switch leg is on this side and the power will be on the other box where the other three-way switch is connected. 
the switch leg will go in the common screw and in the other three wire the power will go on the common screw so it's sort of like upside down then the three wire power will go here on the other power screw and the red wire will go on your traveler screw let's proceed to strip all our wires and make our loops so we can place the wires on the screws and wire our three-way switch or our loops or our loops are made so like I said the switch leg will go in the screw for the common and the power wire from the three uh, the three-way conductor it will go the top screw and the red wire will go on this left screw as a traveler so now that all our wires are installed in the switch we make our l-shaped spring and we push the wires towards the back of the box we line up the switch slowly screw in just a bit and proceed to push the switch back we don't face any resistance doesn't feel like we're crushing the wires so we proceed to tighten more before we use a level to level our switch there's our level so it needs to go just a little bit to the right on the bottom side and there we go now we finish tidying up and follow by installing the blade As usual, we will be installing a Lutron screwless plate with a Phillips screwdriver. So, we place the plate, mount plate, right here. And we tie it up until it's flush against the wall. And we snap in the finished product. And there we go. We have a properly installed three-way switch. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.